Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and we're back again with the Gateway Astro. I still had it out from uh, my recent video on the HP camera from the year 2000, and I thought I'd do a fun little video with it. Well, uh, maybe it'll be fun <laughs> of upgrading this computer to Windows ME. Yes, uh, the most controversial version of Windows ever, probably. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing this uh, is because if you've seen the Windows ME intro video before, it actually shows someone using a Gateway Astro in that video. So it kind of makes sense to have Windows ME on here. So let's go ahead and get to installing. I copied the installation files to the drive. Not enough conventional memory. What? Well, we're off to a good start. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was kind of unexpected. Uh, How much conventional memory do we even have? I mean, it looks fine. Uh, well, how about we just go into uh, DOS mode, which is not here for some reason. <laughs> And we'll just run it from uh, DOS. Kind of a peculiar issue. Hope this isn't a sign of things to come. And I did do a fresh restoration from the restore CD for this computer. Uh, ignore that. <laughs> Didn't hit F8 enough, I guess. And I have run Windows ME on here before, but it didn't run the best. I remember I had some issues with it. But when I did a uh, did a restore from the uh, recovery CD, it seemed to work a lot better that way when I upgraded it to Windows ME, so... Yeah, this is one of those uh, unusual situations where an in-place upgrade is actually much better off. <laughs> okay, scan that system registry. Scan it. Oh, it usually doesn't run the registry checker. Apologies for the refresh rate flickering. Okay, we'll just go with the flow, I guess. <laughs> okay, here's the Windows ME setup, and we're and the CD we're using is the original I bought back in 2000, complete with the uh, jewel case cover from Nickelodeon magazine, Michael Schaff's uh, Broken Windows 2001. <laughs> I'm never going to get rid of that. It's just too perfect for Windows ME. Too perfect. Alright, we'll install it into Windows. Where else <laughs> would we put it? Another reason Windows ME would uh, suit this computer well is because the sound card on here has no DOS support whatsoever. It's basic AC97 and Windows ME is known for uh, not having the best DOS support, for obvious reasons. So we won't really be losing any uh, real DOS support by doing this. Uh, no, we're not going to save the system files. Used to, I would have, but... The regular Windows 98 installation for this computer is on here in case something goes catastrophically wrong, which you never know around here. 
All right, this will probably take a little while, so we'll just let it sit here and rot. All right, we're kind of on the other side now. It's uh, setting up our hardware and any plug and play de devices you may have. This begs the question though, I wonder if people knew how to go into the command prompt level and load up uh, Windows ME setup on a on a uh, Astro due to it what that did that error we had a while ago <laughs> so yeah uh we will let it continue doing its thing i hope it's not frozen if it is i'm going to be very upset but also not really surprised because this is windows me of course the well, cursor's moving that's a good sign Okay, definitely on the other side now, we've got a uh, hot, we got high color mode now, and it's updating the system settings in Windows 98. This is where you would have seen the drums uh, going, but it says we'll be done in about eight minutes. I doubt it, but we'll see. All right, here's our first full boot with Windows ME on the Gateway Astro. We should get that nifty intro video in a moment. First I'll connect to my network, still using this, this uh, very basic USB Ethernet adapter because there's no expansion slots in here to add a network card. Famous Windows ME startup sound, also found in Windows 2000. Probably more famous than Windows 2000 because everyone loves Windows 2000, don't they? Seriously, everyone does, it seems like. <laughs> but I think the intro video is getting ready to start, and you'll see what I mean by... Uh, This computer making an appearance. And there it is. There I am, Gary. There I am. <laughs> I think that will probably be the thumbnail. Oh, the best part. First of all, I don't know how that could, ha that could be possible. Second of all, I would have had my butt handed to me if I had done that to the family computer. The worst I ever did on a computer when I was a kid, on the Packard Bell 822 at least, was change a bunch of file extensions to Billy. To dot Billy. <laughs> and oh, did that break some stuff. We'll take this tour another day. 
But as you can see, it's still got all our gateway goodies on here, including Disney's Daily Blast. Seems like every computer from the late 90s came with that. I forgot this even came with Word 97. Uh, yeah, that guy. Let's see if we can change our background. Hmm. Do we have any other gateway backgrounds? I guess not. We'll just change it to this. It'll actually run faster now that we don't have the active desktop going. So, yeah, it uh, looks like everything is in working order. Now we have pinball. Which obviously is going to run just fine on this. Yeah, the one time I did run Windows ME on here with the, uh, using the factory image upgrading from its copy of 98, it worked fine, so I think it'll work fine here. I might use this on here permanently, who knows? I just gotta copy some files over to it. Most people associate this with Windows XP. I associate it with quite a few OS's actually. Plus for 95, NT4, ME, 2000, XP. I think that will just about do it for this video. Uh, I don't like how it changed the color there. Now the OEM logo looks kind of off. <laughs> but all our drivers are accounted for, thankfully. Yep, and there's the big Achilles heel of this computer, the SoundMax Integrated Digital Audio. No uh, ad-lib support whatsoever. Yeah. But one thing I am going to do is uh, I am going to move the setup files over to Windows Options Cabs. Let me delete the old uh, Windows 98 files. And there we go. I'll delete this folder here. And one thing I also did before upgrading to Windows ME, and I used to do this all the time on computers that I upgraded to ME in the past, is I installed a Plus for Windows 98, which Oh, there went an LCD screen that I just knocked over. That's nice. This this place is a mess right now, unfortunately. That way I could still get the Plus 98 desktop themes like uh favorite I used to use back in the day, Garfield. Not the prettiest looking thing, but hey, it's cool. You get a little ant running around here. Not sure what that sound has to do with Garfield, but there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. 
you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook and X. You may also support me on Patreon if you'd like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.